Hey guys, ever wonder what's inside that MFJ tuner? Let's open one up and take a look. So here, so here I have the uh, MFJ 962 Delta. Let's, let me show you the front of it. Pretty nice tuner. I had to replace the, had to fix one of these were loose, the, uh, the little porcelains on the back. So let's uh, open this thing up and just see what's inside. It, they're pretty simple inside. I think it's interesting for people to see what's actually inside one of this. All right, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pull the top off this thing and show you what's inside. It's, there's not a whole lot inside. It's a pretty simple thing. Let's just check it out. All right, this is the inside of the tuner. As you can see the wheel up here. Your other two adjustments here, the capacitors. You have a ballot in here. A switch. This switch is the uh, from antenna to antenna. I'll show that later. It looks like it's busted right there. It's never had any more than four or five hundred watts put into it, and probably only about four hundred. I took the cover off because I had to tighten these nut on the porcelain in the back here. This is where you hit up your uh, your balance line for like a for like a doublet. Also has a hookup for just a long wire. You have your circuit board down here that runs everything. And it, this is the back of the uh, tuner. You get your balance line. That's a ground actually is what that was. Coax one, coax two, bypass. That goes to the transmitter. And that's for the 12 volt for the light, but you have to have the light 12 volts to have the hold to work. And on the bottom, you just got your feed for it and some screws. And here's the front. There's the inductance, antenna, and your transmitter. I usually start around five on those and then adjust it. You have your high and low range for power, your peak and your average, and your lamp on and off. You have direct coax one and two, coax one, coax two, wire. And then you have the coax bypass just straight through to the antenna. It has the meter with the double needles that cross for your SWR and power. And this tells you where your induction is up here. But it's the MFJ Versa Turner 3. MFJ 9... 962D, 1.5 kilowatt roller inductor antenna tuner. So this is actually built for their 811.4. It's the 800 watt out tuner that they make. And that is about all I would actually ever put through this. I wouldn't put any more than 800 watts through it and, and may not even do any more than 600, tell you the truth. It'll hook up to any radio. So just, you have to be careful with it. Sometimes they're rated for more than they're actually good for. If you can see there's a crack right there. Everything looks pretty well put together. I don't see any bad solders or anything loose other than the crack and that wasn't there when I bought it.
Okay, let's just for comparison, let's look and see what's inside this. This is a LDG YT100. It's for an A57 or the 897, I think, with a couple other radios. So let's just uh, look inside this and uh, let's just see what, the, what it looks like inside also. I already got most of the screws out for you guys. Take that one out. Take that one out. Pull the cover off. So check this out. Um, there's the connectors in the back where everything connects. You have a you have your antenna, your antenna in, your ground, and your transmitter right here. And then it also has some cords. Uh, there's a remote cord at the end there, and then um, one of these goes from the, from this to the radio, so it's all automatic power. The radio actually powers it on and everything. So if you go look inside, it's got a bunch of uh, you get the toroids down in here. They're all wrapped, and all kinds of little electronic components. A lot more electronics in this one. Um, I think these are relays. So all the re relays, when you hear it clicking and clicking, it's all those things going on. So uh, different style. Uh, this one has a lot of more electronics. The other one has some physical, you know, um, capacitors and stuff. They both work. This one's good for about 100 watts, uh, maybe 125. I forget exactly. Um, I prefer the uh, manual tuners most of the time, but these are easier. So, ah, hey, at least we got a little look at it both so i hope this is uh this was fun for you guys uh this it's kind of neat to look inside some of this electronics and all that stuff and see what's inside and see how they operate and all that stuff and it just familiarizes you with different components of uh, your system so this is chuck kk6 usy for ham radio ventures uh don't think about hitting that like if you like this video uh if you didn't like it yeah you didn't like it also if you're new here hit that subscribe button hit that bell and you'll get all my new videos when you hit all. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Hammer Radio Ventures. Thanks all, 73s, and uh, be safe. And I hope to catch you on the airways.